Hi, I'm Stephanie Meisen, a dietitian here at the U.S. Olympic Training Center, and today I'm here with Corey, one of our resident athletes. Hi, I'm Corey Hope. I'm one of the Greco-Roman wrestlers here at the Olympic Training Center. This is Team USA Insider, presented by Nabisco, and today we're making dumplings. Two into culinary school and baking and, a pastry yeah, school. Yeah. Nice. Culinary pastry arts and hospitality. So do you like dumplings? I do. I like food. I'm a wrestler. So today we're going to make pork dumplings with some really delicious Asian flavors in there. This is one of those foods that might seem kind of intimidating to make at home, but it's really easy. First, what we're going to do is cut up some of our vegetables that we're gonna mix in there. So now we have our ginger, and to mince it, I like using this really fine grater. It just makes it so much faster, I feel yeah. like. Those chili flakes over there, some sesame oil, and then soy sauce, egg that was beaten up. We are going to mix the pork in now. So we have our dumpling filling made here, and now we are going to put it in our little wonton wrappers and fold it up. So we have these under wet paper towels so they stay nice and moist while we're folding. You only want to grab one at a time. You have a little water bowl in here, and you can just get the edges wet because this is going to be like the glue to hold it together. Then we can take literally a really small amount and put it in the center. We're gonna bring up two opposite corners and then pinch them together. Grab a corner and bring it up till it meets the middle and the center and then pinch the sides down. And the same thing with the other side. So does working with dough like this take you back to pastry school at all? It does bring me back and I do miss it. I do miss seeing what you can create. So when you are searing something, you definitely want to make sure, as you know, the pan is nice and hot before you put anything in there. Grab some vegetable oil and pour some in, maybe like a tablespoon or so. Then we're gonna drop in our little dumplings. And I like to move the pan around to make sure there's oil underneath the dumplings as we're putting them in there. So you want the dumplings to be nice and golden on the bottom. Now we are going to do the steam portion of cooking them. So you wanna pour in just a tiny bit of water and then have the lid ready to go and cover it immediately after you put the water in. We are going to let these steam for about two to three minutes. So now we're gonna take the temperature of the dumplings to see if they're done. Those look so good. Yep, so we want them to be about 155 Fahrenheit for ground pork. This is a little dipping sauce for the dumplings. It has soy sauce, rice wine and vinegar, a little water, and a little sugar. So perfect little dip for these guys. Sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Yay, cheers. <laughs> Well, thank you, Stephanie. This is a great experience and a good recipe to enjoy at home. Absolutely. I'm glad you came to make these. Um, these would be great to make while you're watching Team USA at the Tokyo Games, too. For more recipes, go to teamusa.org.